Beyond your standard oscillators, be they analog or digital, there's still many more sound sources to explore, and another main source for audio is a noise generator. Like a standard oscillator, the options for noise generators are wide and varied, but let's take a look at the types of noise generation you may come across. And this is found on many vintage synths and analog gear, as well as in many soft synths. White noise is a random signal with a constant density across the frequency spectrum, meaning the signal occupies all frequencies from low to high evenly, with no weighting or filtering to emphasise the high or low end. Let's take a listen to some. While on its own, it's potentially harsh and not very interesting to listen to, however through a filter or an EQ we can start to shape and modulate this in something far more interesting, and a little bit of white noise mixed underneath rich oscillator waveforms such as saw waves works wonders for an added bit of extra grit and thickness to a sound. So let's take a listen to that. So here's a low pitched saw wave, and here's mixing in some white noise. And you can hear even at low levels that adds that extra bit of sort of grit and it almost sounds more vintage for want of a better word. White noise is also the key to a lot of electronic drum synthesis with full ranging frequencies often being the first part of call for synthesizing claps and cymbal style sounds. So it's got plenty of uses. Moving on to pink noise, this has attenuated high frequencies with the energy weighted towards the lower frequencies. So let's listen to that and you'll hear that it's duller than the white noise. Let's compare that to the white noise. But again, this has its uses, and when mixed in with other sources, it can add an extra thickness without that obvious top end noise that white noise presents us with. Moving on to digital noise, this has a clock rate and can often be modified for different tones. We can think of white and pink noise as circuits that generate values so fast that we can't perceive them, hence, it's sounding like one thick noise whereas digital noise has a clock rate which the frequency or speed that those random values have been generated can be adjusted. Slowing a high clock rate down will take us anywhere from almost white noise to more retro gaming style explosion sounds that wouldn't be out of place on a gaming system such as an Atari. So let's listen to the digital noise and sweep the clock rate. Some modules, such as this noise module from Maleco Heavy Industry, have the clock rate that we've just been sweeping, labelled Tombra, and we can also use a control voltage to control that. So let's use an external control voltage source to sweep the clock rate. And I'll adjust this modulation source. And we've got an attenuator to control the range of that control voltage's control on the timbre control. <laughs> 